Hi, we're trading the ES on a 2000 tick chart with the 21 EMA. So 8 o'clock is right around this area, and so we started off in this uptrend and this range that formed in the overnight. So we have this double top, and then you can move the lows down to there, and that's when the range basically starts. So in a range, you look to sell the highs and buy the lows, but since we're in this uptrend, you really only want to look to buy the lows because of the uptrend. So we get this move down to here. It's blocked with the trend line, so you can't take that trade. Then we get a couple legs up. We don't quite reach the other side. We plumb it back down. Once again, I didn't want to take it because the signal bar isn't perfect. It is a second entry long, but the signal bar is not very good. You know, big, huge bearish bar right there. So I just really didn't want to take it. But then we go off the highs again. No entries. Come back down, and now we're off the main key entry point of the channel. So I thought that this was a good trade to take. Um, it does have this huge bear bar, but it's right off the key entry point. It has a pretty good signal bar, and it's a breakout, and most breakouts fail. So I decided that it would be worth it to go for that trade. So that was a 13 tick trade. I got out before the EMA. I would have entered even into the EMA because it's so choppy going straight through the EMA, but we did get out before it. and. Then we just continued higher, we broke out of the range with these two legs up, and then at this point you would want to wait on corrections to the EMA to try to find a trade. Um, we correct, we're not quite off the EMA, new high, first entry long, second entry long, but this is far from the EMA, it's a horrible place to enter because you don't want to take a bar that far away from the EMA and put your stop below this bar. It's just, it also just looks like one leg down on a s smaller picture, or on a bigger picture, so it's just not a very good looking entry. But we have a new high. We have this triple test off the lows, so you can draw that, drag it up, have a range. And now we have this downtrend forming. It's just a first entry inside of the downtrend. There's really nothing it can take, but now we have two legs down off these lows no good signal bar blocked with the short term trend line there's again no trade that you can take here then we have a move up now we have this uptrend a break first attempt to make a new high second attempt failure so this is a failed second entry long at the highs of this range except you are in this uptrend so that scared me out of going short here and i don't think that you should go short here because of the uptrend so then we reach the lows here you can look for a buy because when an uptrend gets a break expect price to make a new high and set the lows but i i don't really see any good entries in here you have this channel working down so you can't take anything inside of that and you have a break first attempt at a new low second attempt at a new low and then you get a pullback you don't quite get a breakout pullback off of the range but you do get a correction to the ema and at this point you can start drawing this downtrend. You have these two highs that, and these lows down here. You don't quite reach it till here, but you get a second entry short, no good signal bar. Really really no way that you can go short there. Then you've got a lower high. The lower high is far from the EMA. It has this resistance forming down here. I really don't think that you should enter short into that. Then we get a failed second entry, first entry long, second entry long, failure far from the EMA. The signal bar is really big. It's a doji bar. I, I did not want to take that. So then we get an overshoot, and when a downturn gets an overshoot, you can expect prices to break pretty fast. As soon as it had an overshoot, it broke right after. And so now, downtrend has a break. You can expect prices to make a new low. So first entry long, second entry long, failure. Failed second entry. Expecting a new low. I thought it was a pretty good trade. I'll draw the risk reward tool. So, yeah, this one was three and a quarter points. This one is three and a half points. Pretty good trade. You know, uptrend break, first attempt higher, second attempt higher, failure, downtrend break, first attempt lower, second attempt lower. Technically, off this downtrend, you do have first attempt lower, second attempt lower, third attempt lower. But if you draw this, it really is just the second attempt to make a new low for this big downtrend. So I think that's a very good trade to take. 
Um, and then we make a new low. The downtrend's played out. And then we have a reversal pattern. First entry short, second entry short. Failure above the EMA, but look how congestive that is. That's so congestive that you can't take it because it's just it's four bars, all the same width, stacked right up against each other. I, I really don't think there's anything to take there. So then we get a couple legs back. It, it looks very choppy, but you can't see the two legs back. I'll draw them here. First leg. Second leg. So first leg back, second leg to the EMA. There's no good bar to take. It is still really choppy. You do have somewhat of a range. So you can't exactly go into these highs here. You can't buy into those highs. But you do get this uptrend that starts to form. You get these lows, highs. It's a confirmed uptrend right here. So here you would look to buy and you just get a first entry with no good signal bar. This bar is way too big to enter on. And also you really do want to enter before it, it triggers higher here because it's it's not exactly and also it's just a first entry because the lowest low is here and you never get a higher low um, so I draw it like that if there was a higher low which would also have been a second entry in this case it probably would have been all right to take but it just never happened so uptrend break expecting a new high first attempt at a new high second attempt all the way down here at this point you really wouldn't expect it to make a new high for this range and so um you would just go off of this new low first entry short second entry short it closed above the ema no good signal bar you really can't go short here now i didn't take this trade because i had stopped trading got lunch right before this but you get a first entry short second entry short failure and then a lower high that pushes above and closes onto the closes above the EMA. And it's also the fourth confirming bounce off of this short-term uptrend. So I thought that this uptrend was I thought that this trade was a good trade to take. Um, but yeah, I did not take this. So then we make a new high, we overshoot this trend, we get a break, new high. This is of course a news item that's occurring at this point. So today was an FOMC day, which is why it was a lot slower than usual. Like from from 8:30, like right here, to I'll draw it till when I stopped around noon. This was the whole day that I traded. Usually there's a lot more activity that goes on, but the FOMC days are a lot of times way slower. So you know, that's all I got today. Of course, I was trading at 8, so it was more like that for me. But um, I'll add up my trade, so I got 3.5 points here, 3 and a quarter points here, so that's 6, uh, it's, uh, yeah, 6 and 3 quarters points. So, pretty good day today. So, anyways, uh, that's it for the day. I'm not going to go over this news event, it just gets very volatile from here, and I'm running out of time anyway. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.